Millions of years before humans came to be, life started as a single cell in a puddle. This cell duplicated and multiplied itself, creating the first basic life form. Over millions of years, a species of apes called Homo sapiens evolved into human-like creatures. The Origin of Species by Charles Darwin explains this theory. It is clear to me that nature created man and therefore he created the universe. That's not true. Don't you know anything? God created this world. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. A more recent evolution is how the transportation of goods has changed. We now eat a wider variety of foods and have grown stronger, taller and healthier. Evolution of transport has also enabled us to travel the world more easily and settle in different countries, meeting with different cultures. But it has caused a lot of pollution. As the world's population has grown, the demands on the planet have too. Our green spaces are becoming less and less as more homes and infrastructure are built. Many factories around the globe are still pumping out greenhouse gases, CO2, polluting the earth as we know it. Rainforests have been cut down for materials and profit, destroying one of our main sources of cleansing the air and disrupting the habitats for our birds, animals and native tribes. An average household throws away one tonne of waste per year, which ends up on landfill sites. That's the equivalent of 3.5 million double-decker buses when put together. So, how does this affect us? A protective invisible layer in the stratosphere, called the ozone, has been damaged due to pollution, and in particular the use of CFCs found in aerosol cans. Global warming is capable of changing the world's climate, meaning drought in some places and flooding in others. In order to continue evolving, we need to make sure that we don't destroy our planet first. Mm -hmm.